Hello YouTube, this is Charlie from Tarot Tech Computers bringing you another video on how to use freeware. Um, this video we're going to go through VLC Media Player and always make sure these are checked that way you can download subtitles updates. Now and here you have multiple, you can open your media file, disk you can play DVDs, CDs, uh, tons of media files. And you can actually render in if you have that feature. You have value control, audio device control, subtitle, video, multiple different tools for tracks and installation effects, filters, media information, codec information, configuration, and plugins and extensions. So we have plugins. And apparently you can you find more add-ons if you need to. Like different skins, playback, all types of crazy stuff on here. And this is the only active program we have right now for extension wise. And this is your plugins. Damn it, why can't I focus? That's a little better, I guess. Eh, not very much of a difference though. Sorry about that. My working kind of sucks. I really need to get me a new camera. But yeah, like I said, it has like a tons and tons of programs, of plugins for this, uh, for this little, little free air tool that's really easy to download. Um, yeah, you know, I say got configuration, which for broadcasting, schedule, video on demand, if you have a TV tuner, for that matter. Ah, uh, one touch bad. Be nice. You got dock playlists, carry your own playlists, you have advanced controls, add interface if you want to change interfaces, then your subs, advanced controls, you have like recording. Simple things like that. This is not so many I will show you a video to show how it works, but if I just keep the copyright infringement nonsense that's going on throughout YouTube and the internet, I'm good. I'm not gonna take that chance. But when you go to download this uh, program, it does show you a little video demo online, which is perfectly okay by me. Case me out, YouTube is a I'm not a smite you program. As people have been calling it lately. So, quick little video shows you your VCL play, uh, media player. It, now, in Windows 10, you have to actually select VC, VLC media player manually sometimes based on what the file was because Windows you have this beetle head that it has to use your own media player or movie player instead, which is not a bad player, but most of the time it's trash. It doesn't have the same capabilities that VLC player does. Now you can download it through Windows Store. I suggest download it from FileHippo or VLC themselves because it's a way better installation process. So hope that guys hope to hope this helps you guys out. It's one of the best media player freeware you can download. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.